punches straight down the middle. Patol uh, is a kicker. He really likes to kick. Tough night for my guy. Right. You know, well, sometimes they don't have the mobility either with the with with, with the bigger legs. Or they gas qu quicker, right? Yeah. And using more oxygen. But I like taller fighters. I, I, I like, you know, if they know how to use their height, they get such leverage on their punches and kicks. Definitely. I like that Remy's coming out kind of establishing the jab right there. Nice uh, kind of set, there. Kind of setting the pace. Yeah, keeping Rich back right yep. away. And he's answering back right away. Rich has got good speed. Really he good does, speed. but I guess he's kind of, he's dropping his left hand, kind of almost reaching for the oh, punches. Oh, it's just spinning elbow. Changes the levels. See that? He's gonna, he could sneak that Remy if he was smart. He'd kind of get that Rich's left hand to kind of drop and sneak that right kick up over the top. He kind of fake like you see, drops it every time. He drops it every time when he's stepping back or when, well, when, when he's Remy's about to like, He kind of like faints a jab or fakes a jab or moves his left hand. Right. You can see Rich kind of drops his lead hand almost he, like what, he's- Like he's about to parry it? Yeah, I think like he's parrying or he's maybe- Tentative, nervous? Yeah, it's just, I don't reacting. know if it's nerves. It's just, it's just a bad habit. I kind of had one of those for a while where I reach for right kicks and then, you know, next thing they end up on the side of my head. <laughs> Or if a guy would throw the overhand right, I'd have a tendency to just eat it. And Remy's here is trying to establish the clinch. He does a good yeah, job gets, of punching once right he there, gets out. It sneaks over the top. Look at it. Yeah. It's there all day. If he just make a little bit of distance and step back. Yep. Yep, there it is. Fix his feet a little bit. You know, it, Remy being the taller guy, I, it surprises me that he's clinching up, but I, I don't know if it's because Rich winds up very close to him. Nice knee there. And Rich with an elbow straight up the middle, left elbow. So he even kind of drops his left hand when he throws his hook. A Rich does? Or yeah. I just kind of come forward like that with that knee up, and then I bring that right kick right up over the top. Oh, nice overhand right by Remy. Remy now backing Rich up into a corner. Spinning elbow by those, Remy. Those Another elbow. Knees. Remy's knees are beautiful up the middle. Yeah, very, very nice. But I think he's playing. Yeah. You, know, you don't like, oh, I don't want to fight this guy or that guy. So, you know, you, some people might look at this record and be like, oh, you know, he's, he's got a 50-50 record. No, but he's not going to be that good. He's got experience. I look, I look at a record like that, and I mean, he's fought everybody. Yeah. You know, and he's learned on the job. See, I think this range is ideal for him right here if he just stays back a tad bit. Yeah. Right there. So you think he's stepping in towards Rich's range. Nice uh, elbow little, yeah, by Yeah, I mean, but he's also effective on the inside with the knees. Yeah. And I think he could do a lot more damage if he stays on the outside. All right, right now, Rich trying to sneak that elbow in. Remy pulling his hand over the top. Big knee, another big knee. A body kick lands by Rich Bertol there. That left kick is beautiful. Oh, nice right hand. Great. He, uh, Remy bringing the hand over Rich's head so he can throw his own body kick. That was kick. a nice sneaky elbow. These kids are bringing it. Yeah, for sure. I mean, in every fight we've watched so far, Hart has not been in question. These kids came to fight tonight. Rich told it over the top right. Another over the top right. I think he's found a home for that thing. Yeah. What's great is when he's sneaking his hands into oh, clinch, he throws the elbows. Somewhere. Another big elbow by Rich Patol. Another big elbow. He's letting them land, come right over the top, sliding over the glove and letting them land right over the top. Those tall fighters are always bringing shots down. But Rich is doing a good job bringing his over the top Yeah, also. over the top, using his elbows. Nice, nice elbow there by uh, Remy as well. These guys are just going shot for shot here. Oh, spinning elbow, that was a hard shot. Big knee. Kids are going to be pretty big. Oh, up. another spinning elbow. If I, was, I mean, if even I was, with the if elbow I was pads. Sony, I would be pretty excited about this fight. Yeah, for sure. These guys are beating each other up. What was great there was Remy did his spinning technique and then landed a kick as well. And you know, sometimes Ooh. you can see those elbow pads are sliding down in the forearms. So when you catch them with a the spinning elbow, you're catching them with the elbow. You catch them a little bit, and then it screws up your eye vision. There we go. Today got a little excited. And big knees here. Rich Patrol again, even though he's up in the corners, you know, doing his best to fight back. Remy having the dominant clinch position right now. Gets out of it. Huge right elbow by Rich. 
Spinning elbow doesn't land, lands under the armpit. Wagner breaks him up. And just basically he's fixing the elbow pads, giving them both a, a couple seconds to breathe. It's just taking a couple seconds here to like fix the elbow pads, catch your breath, and we be, resume the action. Nice elbow landing right up the middle by Remy. Nice. Body kick blocked. Yeah, these kids are fighting. Oh, overhand. This is a, this is Another a tough fight overhand. to judge. I would not want to be a judge in this one. It, it's it now. It's got to be since they're. Ooh, that was great. He spun and around and then landed one and then did a double. Rich really going for that body kick a few times tonight here. Nice. Wow. Now what he did here was successfully was he spun and then used his opposite hand to grab into the clinch. These kids are kind of spending a lot of energy for the first round of the oh, tournament. Oh, for, for sure. Luckily, we have that little uh, break of... Yeah, but sometimes that little break, you start cooling down, you start feeling everything. You start feeling everything. <laughs> Very, 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 nice. very. See that left kick from that range there is amazing. Very Remy tough throws. fight to Look judge. At that. He could throw that all day and the kid would never get near him. Throw it again. Boom. Look at that. That's there all night. He could have made this fight a little bit easier for himself. Rich Bertolt's corner telling him to stay busy, stay nice. busy. Not to. Oh, that was a big shot to end our third and final round between. Rich Bertol and Remy Singh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we do have a winner by unanimous decision. Wow, yeah. Moving on to the semifinals, representing Queens, yeah. Remy Singh. It's just funny how a fight like that, where I thought it was very close, was a unanimous decision, and the fight before that, where I thought it was kind of back and forth.